today, welcome to today's video and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. My name is Emily and today I'm going to be sharing with you my room tour but a Christmas edition. So if you don't follow me or my vlogs or anything like that then I actually recently moved back home to my parents house and this is my bedroom. This actually got decorated about a year ago and yeah this is just kind of me right now, how we're doing it. It's a bit of a weird one, I'll explain as we go but yeah I hope you enjoy it. Just a couple of things before we get into it. Firstly something really exciting is happening on my Instagram tomorrow so if you don't already follow me now is the time. I cannot even begin to explain to you how exciting it is. There's a little hint in this video but oh my gosh and also I'm actually doing vlogmas like I said I vlog and I will link my vlog channel down below for you if you want to see more of my bedroom and bits and bobs like that but also if you already watch my vlogmas then you'll know that I actually have two bedrooms. I have like a dressing room slash office so if we get this video to 5,000 thumbs up, then I will do a room tour of that room too. It's a very different room and there's way more stuff in it and yeah, if you want to see that, give this video a thumbs up. That's where all kind of like my clothes are and my makeup and a ton of other bits. So yeah, if you want to see that, give this video a thumbs up. But without any further ado, now we've got all of that out of the way, shall we get into the room tour? So welcome into my bedroom. This is what you see when you first walk in. We have my door and then my wardrobes are here and then my kind of dresser is here. So welcome to my walkway. Like I said, this room's a bit of a weird one because I sleep in here, I use it to film my YouTube videos in and besides that, I don't actually use it. I have my other room, which is where I have like my desk and where I spend like the bulk of my time and all my clothes are in there and everything. So yeah, this is this is a bit of a weird one. It's a bit of like a studio kind of bedroom that I do sleep in, but yeah, you'll see as we go around. So on the back of my door, I've actually got one of my little sister's Christmas presents because I don't actually know where else to put it because I don't want to damage the print, but it's just a picture of her and her old pony, which she's gonna absolutely adore. She hasn't actually seen this. So yeah, this is like the entrance to my room and then this is my dresser. So this is Ikea. I'm sure most of you would have already figured this out already. I actually got this to store like my loungewear and things in, but it never ended up happening. So my room is currently decorated for Christmas, of course. I got this tree from the garden center last week and a little basket, which I think is adorable. And then I have my Bath and Body Works Mahogany Teakwood Extreme Intensity High Intensity Candle. And that's my favorite one. They are dotted all over my room, all over my other room. It is my favorite candle scent ever. So if you've never tried it and you get the opportunity to, I highly recommend. And then I have my lamp, which is actually also Ikea. Yeah, I actually forgot that was from Ikea, it's brilliant. So I have my shelf. This is actually from Etsy and it's like a recycled wood kind of shelf. I'll link it down below because it is so gorgeous. I got the brackets from Amazon separately. I'll also link those down below. But I just put this kind of garland thing on it that I got from the garden center for Christmas. And then up there I have my two YouTube 100,000 subscriber play buttons. And I guess my million one would look pretty cute right in the middle, but that's actually in storage right now, so I can't get to it. But yeah, I love this. This was like my dream for my bedroom. So when I actually originally moved back here, my room was laid out completely differently like my bed was against this wall and the plan was to have the shelf above that wall but like I said I use this room to film in so there's like a massive empty gap here which doesn't really make any sense if you were to like just sleep in the room you'd put like the bed there but because I film that's where I put my camera and if I didn't have that place to put my camera I, I wouldn't have anywhere to put it if that makes sense which is why this room probably looks a bit like laid out a bit strangely but it does work for what I need it for it's just not the most like aesthetically pleasing moving around to my bed so the actual bed itself is from Next, years and years ago. It did have a footer on too that like matched the headboard, but I actually took it off and had a carpenter make me just like a wood footer because I didn't want a bottom on it. I like to be able to like sit on the end of my bed. But the white bedding is from m and I love this. It's such a random thing to like love a bedding, but when mine got old, I literally repurchased exactly the same thing because it's so soft. And then these cushions are from the White Company and the cushion covers are from Dunnell. All this Christmas set I got from Dunnell maybe two or three years ago and I just get it out every year. It's brushed cotton, it is gorgeous. And um, yeah, I love it. So it's like the two cushions and then I've got my quilt on here, which is actually like a full on quilt, but I kind of fold it over. I think it looks a lot nicer. And then my pillows are Casper pillows. They're so good, like 100% recommend. They are incredible. I actually got them maybe like a year and a half ago and they're so good. And then of course I have my trusty Ugg blanket, which I sleep with every single night. I have maybe four of these, yeah. So someone really close to me actually bought me this as a gift quite a while ago. 
maybe three or four years ago. And then since then I've purchased myself a gray one. I've purchased my sister the exact same one as this. I have a purple one in LA. I have, you know, they're just, I love them. They are the coziest blankets in the world and they make such good gifts. Moving around to this corner of my room. So this is where things get a bit weird. So that area kind of stays the same, but if I'm filming, it's like this side of the room that will get kind of moved in and out. I know this is so random, not like a normal room tour, but I live with my parents, so it's not like I can just go and film in the living room or film downstairs, you know what I mean? Like this is me and how, how it goes right now. So this is from Amazon. Oh my gosh, it is so good. There's room to put your shoes on. I would generally have called it like my new in rail, but now I'm calling it the things I'm excited to wear rail. So I have a little end of the stories dress that I can't wait to wear. This is a Zara one. Everything's nudes and blacks, like beiges and blacks. This is a Zara blazer. I actually wore this yesterday. It's so nice. I have an and other stories leather skirt. And then these are a pair of trousers from Eryxia. These are on here because I am excited to wear them, but I also need to get them altered. They're gorgeous. They're like vegan leather trousers and they are actually long enough, which I'm so hyped about. We then have this faux leather blazer from Zara. This was $49.99, I'm pretty sure. Yes, I would 100% recommend this. I was looking for a faux leather blazer for a while, but they all just looked a bit like a bin bag. Do you know what I mean? But this doesn't, and it doesn't feel weird, and it doesn't smell weird, so that is a winner. I'll try and find the link to it down below. And then I have this Zara blazer dress, which actually sold out everywhere, and a lovely girl messaged me on Instagram, was like, Emily, I'm selling one in your size, so I actually bought it off her. So if you're watching, hey, thanks for selling me my new dream dress and yeah I love this I haven't had a chance to wear it but I was hoping that I would wear this on New Year's but I don't know I don't know if this is happening oh my gosh I was meant, uh, meant to ask you and I may as well ask you now every year I tend to do a like Zara New Year's Eve Christmas dress try on and I wasn't gonna do it this year because are we really gonna wear them? But then I'm like, well, maybe we will. So please will you let me know in the comments down below, would you like me to do my like try on New Year's Christmas dress haul video or are you not bothered? Please do let me know. It's all the Zara dresses. It's basically a Zara haul of their Christmas and New Year dresses because they are gorgeous every year. But yeah, I just don't know if it's, you know, if we're gonna need them this year. The hangers are from Amazon. These are great. They're so good for space saving. They're similar to the Primark ones that everyone loves, but these are the Amazon ones and they work out at the same price, but you can just buy them in bulk on Amazon. And then down here, I have a Chanel carrier bag, just sat looking beautiful. Like I said, there would be some hints in this video. And now we're gonna move on. I'm not gonna say anything else. Moving around to my windowsill, my curtains are from Donnell. This one's gorgeously pressed. This one's all crinkly because I always loop this one over the curtain pole to add extra light to my bedroom. If you watch my vlogs, you know what I'm talking about and you're probably laughing. But yeah, I have a lovely Bath and Body Works candle. This is Bourbon Sea Salt Caramel. It smells like autumn winter. I just think the pot's beautiful. I love the fact it's got like marble on it. And then these are some dried flowers I actually got recently for a shoot. And I have this new obsession with dried flowers because they last for like a year and a half. I think this is about 80 pounds, but instead of, you know, having to get rid of it after like two weeks, I get to keep it for like a year and a half. I think these are absolutely gorgeous. I love that they're like a nudie beige tone because evidently I'm like loving that right now. And then down here in the corner I have my L'Oreal True Match campaign picture which I look like an absolute baby from. This was from about five years ago and I have a Chanel body lotion and a Elizabeth Arden white tea candle which I've never lit and I don't know if I ever will because it's just really cute. Moving around we've got my mirror which is actually also Ikea. This was like £42 or something like that which for a mirror like this I think it's really good. I feel like from other places it would be way more expensive. And then underneath I have my bench, which actually I made out of a, well I, my mum and I made out of a coffee table from Ikea. It came in like a set with this one and a square table as well. And we had it spray painted gold. We got like a piece of foam and this material from Dunnet on which kind of matches the curtains, which I feel like it's a good match. And we just staple, like with a staple gun, staple gunned it all together. You can kind of see underneath. It's literally just like, the, it's the, got the glass on there that it came with, but we just put the foam board on top and stapled it all together. And it's now a little bench, which is super handy because I can just move it around my room and sit on it wherever I need it or if I'm like filming or something. And then we have my wardrobes, which I got these handles from Amazon. They're so cute. They were really affordable as well. And I know you're probably thinking, why have you got a bench right in front of your wardrobe? Is that not really annoying? So I don't actually use these wardrobes very often. So let me show you what's in them. So in this one, it's <laughs> so much stuff. They are random. At the top, I have like summer clothes and just bits and bobs that I don't need right now. They're like away in storage. And then I have my dresses. So they are all arranged in like color order. And then my longer dresses are 
here and I mean I haven't been reaching for them obviously because we've been in lockdown but now I'm like maybe I need to have a rearrange and actually have them accessible because maybe I'm gonna want to start wearing them again this is the dress that I probably would have worn for New Year's which reminds other stories and then yeah I've got my suitcases down the bottom some of my longer dresses here I love this look at this this is from Needle and Thread I wore this to the Mary Poppins premiere, I think? No, I wore this to Cannes, the Cannes Film Festival. I just feel so special in this. Like, I think it's absolutely beautiful. And if I had another opportunity to wear it, I absolutely would, but obviously not right now. I just have random things in here, like, why? <laughs> why is this here? And then moving around to these ones, it's pretty much a similar thing, but this is all my, like, knitwear in here. This is my favorite cardigan that I wear every single day. When I bought it, I was like, why am I spending, like, I think it's like $69.99 or $59.99 on a cardigan. And now I wear it every day and I'm like, well done, Emily. You made the right decision. <laughs> I have my Drew House hoodie and yeah, just bits and bobs, some jackets. All my coats are in here as well, like my ones I reach for. But I'm thinking maybe I need to have a sort out because maybe these shouldn't be in here. Maybe these should be with like my everyday clothes. I don't know. Shall I do a wardrobe clear out and reorganize? Let me know if you'd like to see that. And then down the bottom, I've got some filming stuff. I've got some bags and extra pillows and cushions. Yeah, just really random. And then up here, I keep like filming lights. I've got my Invisalign bag. <laughs> just really random stuff, to be quite honest. So that is my room. I really do hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, it's a bit of a weird one. And if you do want to see that other room where the rest of my belongings are, then give this video a thumbs up. If we get to 5,000, then I will do that super soon for you. I can literally do it next week if you'd like. But yeah, like I said, Vlogmas is on, it's happening, it's well underway. That's over on my vlog channel. And also the thing that's happening tomorrow on my Instagram. I can't, like I can't, but it, it's so exciting. This isn't something for me, this is something for you and something that I've been planning for such a long while and I'm so happy that it is finally happening. So yeah, if you did enjoy this, please do give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below. I will try and link where everything is from in the description box, but if there's anything that I happen to forget, feel free to ask me in the comments, not a problem, I will get back to you. But yeah, I'll see you so very soon. Bye.